Hi, library friends. It's Miss Vivian from the Casa Verdugo Library. November is Picture Book Month. And with permission from Simon & Schuster, I'm happy to share with you Every Color Soup, written and illustrated by Jory Hurley. Look at the beautiful, colorful pieces of vegetables. Every Color Soup by Jory Hurley. We are making every color soup. We'll need purple. What do you think this is? It's an eggplant. Yellow. Onion and corn. Orange. You guessed it, carrots. How many carrots do you see? Let's count. One, two, three. White. Here's some salt and here's some garlic. One, two, three cloves of garlic. Red. Oh, look at these juicy tomatoes. Let's count the tomatoes. One, two, three, four, five. Green. Here's celery. And these are called parsley. We'll need some clear. Looks like there's some cups of liquid in here. Brown. You're right, these are mushrooms. And this one is a potato. Blue. This is a jar filled with lentils. Black. Oh, here's a grinder. It's grinding some peppercorns. Now here's a grown up. Chop. Chopping up some tomatoes and drop. Drop them into the pot. And the pot goes bubble, bubble, bubble. Yum. What a beautiful bowl of colorful soup. The end of the story and right here at the end you'll see all of the ingredients for the soup and there's also a recipe for making every color soup and that's the end of every color soup written and illustrated by Jory Hurley now to extend the reading experience there's a craft that you can make. So here I have a bowl and I use felt material, but if you don't have felt, you can use construction paper or fabric or maybe tissue paper. And to make the vegetables, I printed a picture of a vegetable. This is a carrot. And what you can do is use some fabric and place it right behind the picture. And then with a grown-up's help, you could cut it out. If you don't have a printout of a vegetable, you can draw it on felt or tissue paper. And here, I cut part of it in advance. I'm gonna cut the rest of it off. Cut this piece off, right? Just like that. And then do you see how, um, you can see the marker? 
So here's a little trick, just turn it around and you can attach it to the carrot just like that. And you could use craft glue or school glue to put the pieces together. So in your soup, you could have carrot and I use some brown, uh, brown felt pieces. And again, if you don't have felt, you could use construction paper, brown paper. And I made these potatoes. Here's one, two, three, four, five potatoes to go into my soup. And lastly, I cut some pieces out for uh, broccoli. Here's some green pieces. <laughs> and I'm gonna put broccoli into my soup as well. So there you have it. You can enjoy a wonderful story and make a craft right after. Thank you for joining me, library friends. If you're interested in more books for Picture Book Month, please visit our website at eglendalac.org. Thank you, library friends, and take care.